I once got on the tube with a live pigeon in my pocket. <laughs> David's team. Why was the pigeon in your pocket? It was quite badly injured. Oh, so you were being a good Samaritan to pigeons? Ish. I was a bit peckish. <laughs> <laughs> you hadn't yet decided. It could go either way. <laughs> what had happened to the pigeon? What happened to it? Yeah. Went very nicely with some roast potato. <laughs> <laughs> No, I took it. I took it to um, <coughs> actually to the local vets when I got home. So where did you find? It the... was lying on the pavement. And what was the nature of the garment in in the pocket of which you placed the pigeon? It was a clown's outfit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's your old fault for standing on it in the first place with your big feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a duffel, a duffel coat. A duffel coat. A duffel coat. It... But did you think about just carrying it? Or did you think, I'll put it in my pocket? Because if it's a pigeon that's struggling, I think it's probably it causing it more it, pain. It was beyond struggling. It was... It a was... dead pigeon. A dead no. pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was kind of really knackered and... Can I ask, were you going to somewhere when this happened or were you going back home? I was going to somewhere. So you went to a meeting, possibly a high-level TV meeting, about there are other places available, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just guessing. With a pigeon in your pocket. I like the fact pocket. you gave it two options, a meeting or a high-level TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to imagine... I was going to the local hospital to have a smear. <laughs> While it was in your pocket, did it start flapping? No. So it was just completely quiet, but not dead, in your pocket. Did you have some seed in your pocket? <laughs> of course she did! <laughs> we all carry emergency trill. <laughs> what are you thinking, uh, Kimberly? Does it, does it have the ring of truth for you? I think it's a lie. I've, I've saved a pigeon before and it was quite badly hurt. Oh, here we go. it was can. really flabby. <laughs> Am I the only person I that hasn't only... saved a pigeon? <laughs> I have no, a hard time yeah. believing it would sit in the pocket. What, what were the circumstances for you, Kimberly? I was at my flat. Every, my hus now husband was gone, and <laughs> I. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Very brave of you to talk about it on the show. There was a lot of commotion outside, so I went to look, and there was a pigeon struggling. But I was worried to touch it because I thought of diseases and things. So I oh, left it me, and I had me, to go me. away and think <laughs> what to do. So what did you do? I tweeted about it. Tweeted? <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Did he tweet back? Well, somebody did, and they sent a cab to get the pigeon to take it to the Wildlife Foundation to save it. I really don't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> So what are you thinking, David? Uh, well, Kimberly, what do you think? You think it's I true? I think it's a lie. You think it's a lie? Oh, I think it's a lie. Lie? I think I think uh, we think it's a lie. Okay, you're lie. saying lie. Joe, truth or lie? It is a lie. <laughs>